Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on the cocoon only bins, which are no longer just cocoons. They are full grown adults with their own babies and grandchildren. Let me put you on the stand over here, and we will start taking a look at them. So, first, we're going to look at the European night crawlers. And you can tell by everything around the side that they have been traveling. So let's take a look at them. They had the last feeding that they had was just more of that grain and stuff. So we're not going to see any worm balls or anything. But let's just take a look. And let's see, I do see some springtails. This sassy little worm here. Decided to get maybe some better quality light in here this time so I could see the, the smaller critters in the bin. Maybe even some cocoons. But yeah, I'm going to say that these guys have finally caught up. They were way smaller before, but I really don't think they are now. I think they are very much normal size. Hear the pitter-patter of little pugs behind me there, taking advantage of me being occupied by the worms to frolic and cause havoc in the room. You can see we've got all different kinds size of worms in here. Still really kind of wet. You can hear the beep of the microwave. That is the beep of my compostable bag being microwaved. It's kind of a good chubby one. Nope, nope, no running amok. Oh, okay, wait, there's a cocoon. So this is what I mean by the European night crawlers having really good sized cocoons. Uh, even so, there will be only one or two in there. I've I've yet to find one that has more. Uh, but the wisps are much bigger in the European nightcrawler co uh, cocoons. Now, not all of it's. I, you know, I don't know if it's dependent on the size of the worm or or what. But that's what I do see often. But just as I'm saying, how big they are, then. Here I find, let me find that other one I just put down. So here's the range of size, and these are all one type of worm in here. So you can see the difference between one and the other. I don't know if the egg kind of expands as the wisps expand. Uh, that's an experiment for when I retire, because I think that's going to take time. So yeah, we're still, we're seeing, oops, very sassy. Um, full-size worms in here. So they're all doing really well in here now. I think I can stop worrying about them. I think it's it's official I can stop worrying about them in here. Alright, well, I'm going to dig them a little pit here in the middle. And then today we have oranges and coffee, courtesy of the people at work. So I'm going to give them about half of that. And then we're going to cover it back up. And I'm, you know, this, this container still doesn't have any holes in it or anything. Um, I open it once a week, twice a week, and come in here and make sure. But uh, I think just the little tiny holes that it comes with here and at the other opposite end uh, seems to be enough. I mean, worms aren't humans jogging a race. I just don't breathe as much, I guess. I wouldn't want to do this with it being really hot, but 
uh, for right now, this seems to be fine. All right, well, let's close the lid and switch over to the Red Wigglers. All right, I'm gonna use my other hand now and kind of dig around and, and see who's home. So you can see they're they're quite a bit smaller, but they're pretty normal size for red wigglers. My dogs choose right now to have a what we call a zoomie, where they're all chasing each other around in a circle and being crazy. And they're they're getting pretty old. They're like 12 years old now. They still think they're puppies. And here they come. Gotta love them. Guys, guys, settle. Oh, okay, well, we don't see this every day. That is a set of worms completely locked up. They are mating. And once they get unattached from each other, then there will be a cocoon in the mix. I'll put them back in the corner, let them continue on. Get! Quit being a pain. So they're plowing through all of this bedding. Let's see if I can find any cocoons in here. guys are seeing them, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe as we dig deeper, where it's a lot more moist at the bottom, maybe I'll find some. I'm not seeing it. Alright, well they have been fluffed up. For the week, and I'm going to give them a little pit for their food as well. Dump in their oranges and coffee. And then cover them back up. Alright. Well, wait, wait, wait. What did I find? Right, right here. There we go. We found one. Okay, now we can feel satisfied that we, we found a cocoon. Put that in there and cover it up. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Okay, well, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, click that little bell icon. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.